Welcome back to another episode of Happy Go Lucky Beho Reviews. We will be continuing with part two of our two part mini series for my collection on the Sega Saturn, My Favorite Fighters. Before we get started, I wanted to show games that I own, but for some reason or another, could not truly get into them like my other fighting games. Here are my honorable mentions. Released on a Saturday in 1997, Capcom released the Street Fighter Collection, which was packaged with the original Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, and the enhanced version of Street Fighter Alpha 2. Because of the simple Street Fighter formula, the gameplay still holds up today and is truly hard to beat. One of the final games to be released for the Saturn in 1999, Capcom released Street Fighter Alpha 3 in Japan. This was the last hurrah for the 4 meg RAM cart to be used by Capcom. Bringing a perfect conversion home to the Saturn still blows away its competition with its Saturn fighting pad for their games. Even the Dreamcast had playability issues with their clunky pad. One of my favorite games of all time. Taking a look back in 1995, Capcom released Street Fighter the Movie, based on the motion picture. This game was redone by the Japan team and looks and feels completely different from its arcade counterpart. The arcade had better visuals, but the home console got the old-fashioned Street Fighter 2D gameplay. This singular game proves that even if the game looks laughable, if it plays okay, you're going to look past the blemishes and still have fun. Okay. 
Released in 1996, Takara finally brought their PlayStation 3D fighter to the Saturn with Battle Arena Toshinden Remix. With the new additions and deeper storylines for all the characters, this one rivaled Sony's machine as I Can Do It 2 title. Unfortunately, the slow gameplay really shows its age, but I was a definite fan when it came out, buying it immediately. <laughs> Released in 1998, Capcom unveiled one of my favorite fighting games to date, Vampire Savior, the third installment of the series. The game takes full advantage of the 4 meg RAM cart and delivers a perfect arcade port. Couple that with a Saturn pad and you have hours upon hours of fighting perfection. The faster gameplay is the biggest change from the previous installments as chain combos to supers were in high regard in this one. Released in 1995, the poorly received Virtual Fighter got an update with Virtual Fighter Remix. This was a direct response to Sony's advertisements on how badly the original Virtual Fighter looked in comparison to Toshinden. Obviously, the original was an exact port of the original arcade game. Remix was a response that the Saturn had just as much muscle in creating the same great looking 3D characters and textures. Gameplay still holds up, but we all knew that Remix was just a placeholder until Virtual Fighter 2 came out. Released in 1995, Sega finally showed the world the power of the Saturn with Virtual Fighter 2. Using high resolution that only the Saturn can do at the time, we were watching 3D graphics comparable to the best Sony had to offer in 60 frames per second. Developed by AM2 directly, this was the defining game in the Saturn's life cycle that is one of my favorite fighting games of all time. As a Sega game, this comes close behind only Fantasy Star Online and Skies of Arcadia. Ready, go! Ha! In 1996, Sunsoft released Waku Waku 7 as a Neo Geo port to the Saturn. This game included zooming in and out of the action, which was commonplace for the Neo Geo fighter. The fighters fight to obtain Waku Waku balls as their goal for the game. Sounds like Dragon Ball if you ask me, but with the wild comical characters being well animated and plays very well makes up for their whimsical faults. In early 1995, Capcom released X-Men Children of the Atom. This game became one of my favorites as a huge Marvel X-Men comic book fanatic. This one game forced me to realize that a different gameplay style, other than Street Fighter, can actually work. With the over-the-top supers, combos, and super jumps, Capcom pushed the envelope with this one and X-Men was just the start of something much bigger. You win! Round 3 In 1997, Capcom did the unbelievable and released X-Men vs. Street Fighter crossover for the Saturn. 
It was the first game to employ the 4 meg RAM card and the first truly perfect conversion from the arcade to home. My favorite game of all time started it all with a Versus series with the player picking two players in a tag team action. A deeper air combo system, insane supers and double supers. This game was complete chaos and truly over the top and the people loved it. Hopefully Capcom can come back from the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite failure that I also had to pay for. That concludes my favorite fighting games from my Sega Saturn collection. Hope you enjoyed this episode and please like and subscribe. That's it for me. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.